In this video, we're going to be looking into the future. Specifically, we'll be taking a look at the top 5 biggest tech innovation trends of 2023 that everyone must be ready for. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm also going to share with you a bonus innovation idea that we believe it's revolutionary to space exploration. Quantum Computers In 2019, Google made a big announcement. It announced its quantum computer named Sycamore had achieved quantum supremacy. That's when quantum computers can complete tasks exponentially more quickly than their classical counterparts. Apparently, it solved the problem in three minutes that would take an average computer 10,000 years. Computer scientists have for decades ought to harness the behavior of subatomic particles. These particles can simultaneously exist in different states, in contrast to the real world that people perceive around them. In fact, these particles can exist in more than one state at a time. It's this ability that quantum computers take advantage of. Instead of bits, which conventional computers use, a quantum computer uses quantum bits known as qubits. This means that a computer using qubits can store huge amounts of information and uses less energy doing so than a classical computer's. Traditional laws of physics no longer apply here. We will be able to create processors that are a million or more times faster than the ones we use today. So it's no coincidence that some of the world's most influential companies are investing in quantum computing technology. Self-healing concrete. This material that builds our building, paves our roads and spans our bridges is the most widely produced and consumed material on Earth apart from water. And of all the carbon emitters that surround us every day, it's easy to overlook it. Good old-fashioned concrete. Although its environmental impact is far from low, concrete, defined as the mixture of aggregates, water, and the hydraulic powder material known as cement, is incredibly useful and widely applicable. And with this new self-healing concrete, water is the catalyst that activates the solution. It's only with the arrival of concrete's nemesis, rainwater or atmospheric moisture seeping into cracks, that the bacteria starts to produce the limestone to seal the cracks. It's a similar process to that carried out by cells and our body to make bones. The bacteria are mixed and distributed evenly through the concrete, but can remain dormant even up to 200 years as long as there is food in the form of particles. Healing these cracks the old-fashioned way is no small expense. According to the project manager working on the self-healing concrete, annual maintenance costs for bridges, tunnels and other essential infrastructure is in the billions of dollars per year. This could finally be the answer to all our concrete conundrums. 3D Printing With 3D printing, complex shapes can be created using less material than with more conventional techniques. A digital file can be used to create three-dimensional physical items via 3D printing. However, it's currently developing swiftly into a manufacturing technique, with the corporate world being where 3D printing is most in demand. According to research, the 3D printing industry will have a staggering $41 billion market by 2026. Automakers alike have been using 3D printing for a while now to produce fixtures, jigs, tools, and even pieces that will go into the finished vehicle. 3D printing has made it possible to make things on demand, which has led to less stock and shorter design and production cycles. So this is one tech that looks to change the way we make things forever. Who knows what the future might hold? One day, you might be able to just print your own car at home. What do you think of 3D printing? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Show us some love by smacking that subscribe button and clicking the bell to stay updated. Do it, and you will be happier for the next 10 years. E-bikes. This is the result of four years of research and development, prototyping and testing. This ultimate in e-bikes is called Rivo aimed at the urban cyclist. With hubless, spokeless wheels, a beam-style frame, and a one-sided fork, it can even be locked then unlocks with your fingertip. The fingertip technology to lock and unlock the bike pairs with an integrated automatic lock housed inside the frame to protect it from bolt crap or attack, which make Rivo virtually theft-proof. If they do steal your bike, take advantage of the bike's integrated GPS with motion detection, allowing you to set a custom geofencing radius and know where your bike is by checking the app. It also has automatic brake lighting integrated into the rims. The headlight and rear light also turn on and off automatically, with all the lighting kicking out all the 800 lumens combined. 
These things can only be described as pure engineering excellence all wrapped up in a strong lightweight core with triple sealed technology. It has an added bonus, no spokes means that Revo can store your stuff inside the wheels. Cultivated meat. Cultured meat is a real animal meat like seafood and organ meats, made by directly cultivating animal cells. With this method, there's no need to farm animals to make food. Cultivated meat is made of the same kinds of cells that are arranged in the same or a very similar way in animal tissues. All of that means that it tastes and has the same nutritional value as regular meat, but it never had to be a part of any living animal. In 2013, Mark Post, a Dutch scientist, showed the world the first burger made from meat grown in a lab. Within two years, the first four companies that cultivated meat were launched. Since then, the industry has grown to include more than 60 companies on six continents, with more than $450 million invested in them. Each of these companies wants to make cultured meat products. The Singapore Food Agency gave the green light for the world's first meat product, grown in a lab, to go on sale in December of 2020. Shortly after that, the approved cultivated chicken nugget made in California was sold commercially for the very first time. Do you want to try a lab-grown chicken nugget, or do you prefer your nuggets from a real chicken? Also, do you think these new technologies will improve our world? Let us know in the comments below. Earlier in the video, I said I am going to share with you a game-changing innovation idea in space exploration. Here goes. Spin Launch An American company has tried out a way to send satellites into space, using high-speed spinning machine instead of conventional rockets. The machine which runs on kinetic energy is meant to make satellite launches much cheaper and use way less fuel. The suborbital accelerator from Spin Launch was a success in the latest tests conducted. It's a 33-meter steel structure with a spinning arm that's powered by electricity. Inside the accelerator, the fast turning of the system creates kinetic energy that's meant to spin the satellite faster than five times the speed of sound. The suborbital accelerator is made to send the satellite into an orbit close to Earth, about 2,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Spin Launch wants to keep adding to its technology and equipment so it can send things into even higher orbits. Something about this just kind of blows my mind. Which these technology innovation trends are you most interested in? Are there any more on the horizon that you are excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Also, like, subscribe and stick around by clicking on one of the cards on your screen for more great videos. See you in the next one. Cheers!